Hello everybody, that is here, very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. I'm pretty sure you didn't expect me to see so soon, but I haven't made any videos for longest time, so I have a lot of things that <laughs> I find kind of interesting. Also, I believe that water cooling in a sort of stagnation, but eventually you have interesting products that was talking about. The product I would like to show you today falls under weird category, at least <laughs> as I understand it, or I see it, that it's cool, but I'm not sure why I need it. But I definitely need it, 100%, and I have it. So, this is why you drink it from Thermal Grizzly. This is a little device that can connect it to your GPU, and it shows how much wattage it consumes at every particular moment. Or it can tell you what's minimum, maximum wattage uh, over the time, if you want to. So how what you get when you bought it is um, basically it's a little bag that has a cute little box. Oops. Some foam fall out. And inside you have actual power display plus this little nano. You can ask that maybe different GPU has a different type of connection, how you connect to GPU. Well, valid question. Basically, on the back, you have uh, two sets of connectors. One which connect to your GPU, and this can be for new GPUs, this new weird type of connector, 12 PVH or something like this. Uh, for example, I have um, RTX 3080 on this card. And it comes with two 8-pin connectors. So for that reason, in my particular trinket, we have uh, two ports that connect to my GPU. And we have uh, two ports goes out where you connect actual cables. So you insert basically this device between your cables and your GPU. And for different models, you have a variety of things. It's like one. 8 pin connector, 2 8 pin connector, quite a few models. You can look it up and see what it works. Also, it's not as um, straightforward in certain situations. For example, I learned recently through my customer, and I confirm actually with my own GPU, somebody bought exactly the same models that I will going to show you with two dual 8 pins, and apparently EVJ didn't follow NVIDIA standard, so the space between connectors was too wide, and you can't actually insert it. My customer actually said that um, he physically squished connectors, brave guy, on his car to make them close, and then he was able to put it, but he has a 20 80 Ti model. I have a 3080 and um, I don't feel like uh, breaking my card right now because I can't buy a new one and uh, so I decided that what the hell I, I just will use two set of extensions and connect displays this way. Also as you know, maybe you know, that I have a case labs S8 model which has a horizontal motherboard so the card basically in vertical position so uh, if you put display on the car this will be facing up you can't see it anyways so I will put it through two sets of extensions in front of the window and uh, I will close the window in, and this will be right here in front of the, of the glass so perfect so it doesn't bother me. But I also experienced the situation that uh, spacing between connectors didn't work in my favor. It seems not a problem to other brands, but you, you might want to keep in mind. If you want to slap it straight on a card, and uh, for normal type of uh, build, when you have a card, motherboard vertical card in it, it will be just perfectly, perfectly fine. So. What you can see on the display, I'll just would like to show you. This comes with this uh, diagram that shows you what to do. On the side, you have a one single button that cycles between those different type of display. So you can just have a just wattage at this particular second in the big digits, which is nice. If you want, 
you also can check what the power characteristics right now like how many volts and what's amperage and how many watts so this you have three numbers next one is it just shows you what your minimum and maximum power consumption it doesn't fluctuate it just shows you what what's your range and uh, you have some average wattage that uh, as a as a force display not sure why you want that but maybe some people want to have that kind of statistics you actually can dig deeper and this is a little bit uh, too complicated for me and i'm too lazy to to get into it but if you make a instead of quick click on this little button you can have a long click and then there's a certain things that you can change for example you can change how many milliseconds between sampling and so a little bit to tweak it i'm not quite sure why you want it people who more experienced than me in uh, graphical cards might want to tell that in the uh, comments but actually there's a little bit of things that you can pl play with this device and a little bit tweak it for your liking so that's what we have me as a being total peasant <laughs> about GPUs just decided to play with it and uh, tried a few things so first thing that I tried is um, essentially I just boot my computer and just watch how power consumption was um, like cycling through the boot process it's um, surprisingly it's first second it jumped to like 70 watts or something like this and uh, then it was up and down up and down and eventually when computer fully booted and doing nothing it's like 27 watts that's that you usually set up at the very end so that was interesting but uh, relatively uneventful so i decided to <laughs> spice it up and try to see what i can do with different applications so i'm personally basically on on this my gaming computer i do three things literally i use photoshop for product pictures i use premiere pro which is video editing program to make those videos the ones that you're watching right now and um, i play games that's that's all i do so i decided to try all of those i'm not 100% sure what is intensive feature or uh, action inside of Photoshop so I decided to do content aware replacement so when you have a picture you have objects that you would like to delete and Photoshop kind of calculating what's in the background and trying to guess and see uh, how we can erase it like for example you have a beautiful picture and this is an um, electrical uh, post in the middle of that and you like oh on the side and you like oh it could be so perfect without this thing sticking out so you can erase it so i tried to use it first on a small relatively small image and try to erase that it didn't do a blip i have a 27 watts and it was 27 watts after the object was erased so gpu in my particular situation and lady behind it so then i said okay maybe picture is too small so i took a screenshot from cyberpunk 77 which is a like a full 4k screen actually two screens but it doesn't matter and um, i decided to erase object from that picture it's bleeped to like 28 30 ish but again it's it's basically not very eventful so i give up at that point on photoshop maybe you can do something else that um, really use gpu power i know that photoshop is using gpu but it seems like really not a big deal so video editing definitely use a cuda course so i just pop up my latest video click on export when the, it's producing it and uh, again it wasn't that big of the deal so i barely hit 100 watts from 27 watts and it mostly was below 100 all the time so again it was interesting but not sh as shattering so i expected something like uh, be a little bit more intensive to be honest with you maybe if you do i i did a 1080p type of footage maybe on 4k footage it will be a little bit more ex 
intensive. I also think that maybe it uh, will be take more horsepower if you resize uh, th through the in the side of the video you resize the image and or you have a lot of cuts so only you have a lot of inserts so like a text over so I'm pretty sure that will will in increase uh, processing power you need for for the video to be produced but again it's not a big deal so then I said okay let's go with the heavy guns and I uh, launch IDE Extreme and did a stress test for GPU then here we go it's now we're talking and uh, I got one time I hit 240 watts and but mostly uh, the stress test was going for 237 38 watts so it was most intensive things that I was able to pull out of um, GPU at that point. And finally I said, okay, what else I can do with this thing? <laughs> and uh, I launched Cyberpunk 77. Wow, that thing is a beast. That was the highest power consumption that I was achieved in this particular little test. And um, it's hit 272 watts on average. And it doesn't matter what you do. You have uh, just a screen that shows like load game or, you know, just nothing, right? It's 270 watts. I started games that shooting people around, police showed up, so it's a lot of locomotion. 270 watts. Doesn't matter what you do. You have this amount of power used by the game. Kind of weird because I expected that if you start um, making changes on a screen, like running around and shooting and uh, lots of locomotion, you're supposed to have a little bit heavy load, I guess. But in terms of the wattage, it was no difference. So maybe it was just a stupid test because um, I just poking blindly and do different things, but <laughs> that's what basically I got. So that's guys. Uh, all about this video I don't know how much informative it was for you but it definitely very interesting trinket that um, I will keep for my own use I don't know why I need it but it's cool so I just keep it for for myself and sometimes you glance around and check what's your wattage and what's your temperature what's your flow meter rate and things like this and uh, I don't know makes you happy a little bit more happy than usual so that's probably good enough for me to keep it. All right, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll come back maybe with something more useful next time. See you soon.